Uh, first obvious question, a week a week from today, what, what do you know about your first opponent in Corpus Christi? I know they'll be, they'll be very well coached and well prepared. Uh, got a great relationship with their head coach, Steve Butts. And, uh, he comes from great coaching pedigree and he's done a wonderful job since he's arrived at Corpus Christi. And I know they're excited about their program, you know, they're coming off of NCAA tournament appearance. Uh, they got five starters back. so. It's not the smartest game to uh, host your first one out of the shoot, but that's the way the cookie crumbled. So um, they'll be really good on the defensive end. That's what we'll start with them. They'll play man-to-man, -man, tough, hard-nosed, old-school defense, and they're certainly will be well-versed on offense as well. Uh, I haven't gotten too deep into them yet. Um, that'll start this week. I know my staff has got a pre-scout ready, and um, I'm anxious to open up the laptop. With your um... – you know, we talked last week, you said you're not concerned about starters, it's more about who finishes the game, obviously. But going in with, with it a week away, do you, you got a pretty good idea of your set rotation and or is that something that will play out in November as, as guys improve or, or impress you or, or work with, see who works well with who? Yeah, like we talked about last week, uh, I like to wait till as long as I can. And even throughout the year, um, We'll play, you know, top 10 against each other, at least in the past we have a lot uh, in, in the season. Now we'll see how it unfolds this year, but I prefer to have them go against, um, you know, their counterpart or uh, the best 10 um, players uh, just to continue to get better throughout the season. But at this point, I would say I'm, I got a pretty good idea of, of at least three and possibly four, but still kind of up in the air on, on another spot. And, and uh, you know, I don't have to wait till Monday to see who that is. I don't want to give away any information. Um, but in terms of rotations, uh, that's still up in the air. You know, we've got a lot of guys that are fighting and scrambling for minutes. And, you know, we're real blunt in practice and in video. And they know there's competition and they know they're being evaluated every single day. And so that ups the ante a little bit for us in practice. And, um, you know, we've got a, a full week, like you said, um, to try to iron it out. And then, you're right on point. It'll just unfold the way it does. I can't predict who's going to get better and who's going to produce when the lights are on. Some people, you know, um, cower when it's their time, and some people rise up to the occasion. So we'll have to see uh, who makes the most out of their minutes, and, and then they'll get more. You, you talked about, um, you know, always being a work in progress and figuring stuff out and all that, and how you know the first couple weeks you're going to be experimenting, you know, seeing who does play well with the lights on and all that stuff, but. Ultimately, I mean, what's your confidence level with a week out, knowing that there are things are going to be ever changing, but just in the group that you have, how, how confident are you going into the season? Um, I'm not sure. You know, we, we haven't played. You know, that, that's the downside of not playing exhibition games or in a charity type game where there's fans and the popcorn's popping and uh, it's real. So, I believe in the closed doors, but I understand the other side of it as well. So uh, I'm not sure exactly where we're at. Um, I feel pretty good about our group and the progression that we're making. I'm excited that we still got a week left um, to continue to get better and add some stuff to the mix so we're game ready for whatever the other team throws at us. But, um, you know, I'll know more, I think, after the first, you know, three or four games. You know, we play three games in seven days. so. Once we start throwing the ball up for the for the jump, I mean, that's quite a few games in a short time period. And I think after that, we'll have a better idea um, of where we're at and, and uh, what we need to work on. Go to